So it's time for a rewrite and it's also the opportune time for a rewrite on something like Holochain that has the capacity to really dial up the potential of what that software could offer. Um, and so it's like once you have an accounting model that can account for anything, any type of resource, tangible or intangible, natural or produced, man-made or um, artificial, whatever, um, then it's it's the question of, well, um, what are you actually going to do with that and what are you going to account for? Um, and, it's, and it's also a question of, how are you going to leverage that to share data more effectively between different peers in a network so that they can all coordinate better and get things done better and more responsibly and more regeneratively? And so having a fractal network architecture like Holochain allows means that there's this process where I've got a body of work that's been tried and proven and, uh, tried and, proven and a million case studies have been written about. Uh, well, dozens, um, and I can deconstruct that into these small individual components that do different pieces of what it previously offered, and they're things like um, tracking events that go on and managing inventories and resources and managing work and the knowledge layers that go into your organization. Um, and I can build them now in such a way that you can stitch these together in very arbitrary configurations to allow really fluid collaboration between not just organizations, but subgroups within organizations and across different organizational boundaries can all kind of collaborate in loosely intersecting uh, intersection of, of network space. Uh, and that's a really interesting and exciting potential.